and then that will look behave, will look behave a little bit different. compare with what we have for the breathing sphere and the value over here is square root over 2 okay when square root of 2 is over here and this is the uh, uh, okay and this point When I put Ka equal 1 as I did for the breathing sphere, this, the, the real number would be 1, o, 1 over 5, right? And this is 3 over 5, so it's not 1. So we have to solve these two equations to find out the, 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 the number Ka which produce the same radiation impedance. And obviously that is not one. That is somewhat less than one, okay? And another one interesting point is the uh, radiation power, behavior of radiation power. And that look like Ka to the force, four plus Ka to the force, and that behave like this and in this case this the behavior over here is 12 dB per octave okay what does it mean what does this mean so 12 dB octave and 6 dB octave what does it mean Okay, we can we can say many things. For example, one can say the radiation power of a trembling sphere decays faster than faster than breathing sphere. Or you can also say that Trembling sphere makes far field or plane wave faster than breathing sphere. Okay? And the near field Imaginary parts contribution in the near field by the breathing sphere is a little bit more than what the imaginary part of breathing sphere participate in the near field. What does it mean? Does it, does it have some practical value? Does it has to be considered when it designed the radiator? Of course. When we design the radiator, okay, we can somehow predict the radiated power if I use traveling sphere type radiator or monopole or breathing sphere type. Radiator. Let's see whether that is true or not. Without seeing, we cannot. Sure, right? If you hear, you forgot. If you see, you remember. If you do, you understand. So maybe you guys have to do it. But uh, because a little, uh, we, the, the experimental setup is limited, so I will do the demonstration you got it just to see and if you want to do the similar things what you can do is you can do similar experiment in a bath stop okay okay so go to the bath stop use some hot spring bath and uh, enjoy your weekend uh, 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 experiment you can relax and you can enjoy the physics 
related with the radiation. Okay. Of course, the wave propagation in water is is not same as the wave propagation in air, but at least if we generate one single wave, then the behavior would be would be very similar. So, uh, excusing the the difference between water wave and uh, sound wave, we can we can uh, uh, we can try. Okay. Uh, first, breathing sphere case. Okay, you can see the sound is radiating omnidirectionally, right? Hey, is it breathing sphere? <laughs> yes, I can argue that because I am pushing this fluid that induces the expansion of volume of, of fluid in rad radially, but my finger is not perfectly round, but excuse me, the wavelength is much, much larger than the size of the radiator, as indicated over there, we can assume that this is breathing sphere. Okay? Maybe I can use this, but to be gentle. Right, that is breathing sphere, right? So let me make a trembling sphere. Again, in the far field, we can only see the plane wave, right? But in the near field, it's hardly can you hardly see. So let me exaggerate it somehow, somehow. Okay. I hope I can I can succeed. Little radiation over here, right? So you can see the cosine square theta. I don't know. It's cosine square theta. Is is. I mean, saying cosine square theta is too much, but at least we can say in in this direction, radiation is very little, right? But water has some viscosity compared with the viscosity. What about the viscosity of air, kinematic viscosity of air and the kinematic viscosity of water? Which one is larger? Water or air? Water. Kinematic viscosity is nu. That is mu divided by rho. And the water, rho of water is much, much larger than rho of air. And you have to be very careful when you talk about viscos kinematic viscosity. In fact, kinematic viscosity of water is less than the kinematic viscosity of air. Be careful, right? OK. It's tricky. Maybe I will use that one as one of candidate of final examination. But let me demonstrate again. You can see that, OK? What if I have little appendages over here. Does it make something very different? Okay, not, not much different because the size of this is, is small compared with the wavelengths. So as indicated over there, the effect of a small appendage, small compared with the wavelengths, does provide a very little effect on the radiation in the far field. 